In this video, I'm going to talk about what subcomponents are, how to create subcomponents, and then also why you'd want to create subcomponents. So first of all, what exactly is a subcomponent? As of right now, the only component it seems like we have is the app component. So that's going to be this one right here. And if we take a look at our diagram, that's going to be the component that stretches the entire lifetime of the application. But if you also take another closer look at this diagram, you see that we have a couple more components here. We have off component and we have main component. Well, where are those components and how do we actually use those? And actually right now we already have another component in our project. We technically have this auth component already established. And don't feel bad if you didn't notice because it's not, it's not obvious where it is because uh, when you use the dagger Android imports, it does a lot of things kind of behind the scenes that you don't see. So if you take a look at the activity builders module, for example, this is actually where the subcomponent is defined. We technically have already defined an auth activity subcomponent, and it's defined because we have this add contributes Android injector. And I know it's not obvious because it doesn't actually show you. And there's no way to know that a, a subcomponent has even been created unless you look at the code generators. And I know I said that I was going to try and not look at the code generators, generators in this course. But in this case, I can't really help it. I have to show you the code generators so that you get an understanding of subcomponents and how they're actually being created. So I'm going to come down into the generated code section here, generated Java section. I'm going to open up the, uh, I think it's the DI package and give that myself some more room here. Uh, and I'm going to open, uh, oh, maybe not the DI package. Actually, in here, which one is it? It should be uh, contributes. It's not there. should be uh, contribute. Oh, because I didn't rebuild the project. Okay, so I'm pressing uh, control F9 right now, or you can go to rebuild project. And there you can see, I was playing around with it earlier, so uh, the code wasn't generated. Anyway, so there's our, there's our class. It's the contribute auth activity class right here. And uh, you can see that here is where our subcomponent is defined. So you can see at subcomponent, it's referencing the auth view models module. We have our subcomponent that's named auth activity subcomponent. Uh, just keep in mind that in the diagram, I call it auth, auth component, but in actuality, the name of it is auth activity subcomponent. And this is all the stuff that's basically used to create that subcomponent. And uh, so just to kind of clear things up for you, um, what I could literally do is I could copy this. This is generated code. And instead of using the at Android or at contributes Android injector, I could, I could paste or uh, comment that out. I could paste this in. I can get rid of this. I don't need that because it's inside the class. And then I could rebuild this. So I'm pressing control F9. And this is going to work exactly the same as what we had here. The only thing is I got to go inside of the app component. I need to add it to the app component. So the app component knows that it is a subcomponent. So what was it called? It was called auth activity subcomponent. We need to uh, add a dot factory since that's what we are overriding in here. We're using an at subcomponent factory and overriding the factory interface. So we need to tell it, tell it that and I can just say uh, auth subcomponent and do that in there. Now, if I run the app, it's going to work exactly the same as how it was when I was making use of the contributes Android injector. So there we have the app running. So just I just wanted to show you that you could define a subcomponent like this. This would be kind of like the long way. And then you kind of add it as a component inside of the uh, app components, so the app component is the parent one. This is then the, the child or the subcomponent. But we don't have to do that because we're making use of the Android uh, the Android kind of conveniences, the convenient stuff that are part of the Android imports. So I can delete all that, I can add that, and then this is, will automatically create a subcomponent for me, and all the modules that I add to it will go right there. So now, why would I want to make subcomponents? Like, what is, what is the point of making subcomponents? Even though you sort of have no choice if you're using the contributes Android injector, but uh, kind of just in general, why would you want to make subcomponents? And in general, it's for organization and it's for scoping. So like later on in the course, you'll see that I'm going to be scoping the subcomponents uh, so that the dependencies inside of those subcomponents will only exist in those subcomponents. So if you take a look at the diagram, for example, like the auth component is going to have certain dependencies that I don't want to exist for the lifetime of the application. So I'm going to scope them to the auth components. So the auth component will own them. Basically, they'll be part of the same scope so that when the auth component dies, 
uh, all of those dependencies will also die and it will free up any memory that's being used. And that's, that's kind of the general idea. That's why you want to create subcomponents and scopes and all that stuff. It's to, number one, keep things nice and organized. And then number two, free up resources that are no longer being needed. So that's kind of, that's it in a nutshell. And I'm sure you're confused because we haven't really like gotten super practical yet. We haven't seen really the whole big, big picture in action yet. But like I said, like I've said a hundred times before, by the end of the course, you're going to see the big picture. You're going to see the subcomponents. You're going to see the scopes. You're going to see the modules inside the subcomponents, all the different stuff. So that's going to be it for the introduction to subcomponents using the Dagger Android imports. And now that we know already uh, that we have our first subcomponent, we have our application component also, I'm going to start adding dependencies to it. So I'm going to start actually working on doing the authentication using retrofit and adding the dependencies into our auth subcomponent.